Greetings and salutations, Internet. Grim Santo here with another video for you. This one's another unboxing. I am unboxing the very controversial Mass Effect 3 Collector's Edition. Oh, well, the, the Collector's Edition is not controversial. The game itself has become controversial. Um, this is, I've already started playing this, so this is kind of a re unboxing, boxing, whatever. But uh, I figured since people, uh, still, this is still available, I figured people would want to see what's inside of it, regardless. Uh, do a really quick review, uh, review of what's on the outside. N7 here says the N7 Collector's Edition right there. It says it on the side, on the back. It tells you all the good stuff about the game and it also tells you about all the special edition stuff. Uh, downloadable stuff includes a character, bonus character mission, which the character is really cool. I'm not going to spoil it for you if you haven't, you don't know about it, but. If you're if you're a big Mass Effect fan, you're, you're gonna really dig it. Uh, Mech Dog, which kind of just walks around and scan things, doesn't really do much. Uh, alternate costumes, yeah, you know, ultimate costumes, ultimate costumes. You get an N7 hoodie for your your shepherd, so he walks around the Normandy with a N7 hoodie. You get an N7 sniper rifle, shotgun, SMG, and pistol, yay. And uh, you also get the avatar prop for your uh well avatar of the Normandy, which is really cool too. Let's go inside here. It comes in two parts. Here's the actual game. The tin, you see Shepard on one side looking badass. Female Shep on the other side looking equally badass. Inside, you get the two game disc here. You get all this miscellaneous uh, DLC here. And you know, meteors and such falling from the sky. Actually, I actually think those are Reapers falling from the sky. But, um, yeah, so all this is special. There's no, no instruction manual, sadly, because EA doesn't believe instruction manuals. But there's actually instruction manual inside the game when you play, so... I guess it's not really needed. Uh, here you go is the, the, the secondary part, which is all this collected edition stuff. You have a shepherd dragging somebody out out of the rubble, showing symbolizing hope. Everything is not hopeless when the reapers come. Uh, let's open this up. So inside you get a comic book. This Mass Effect Invasion comic book. I've actually read it. It's pretty cool. And it actually uh, is mentioned in the actual game, so which which so it's kind of like a little merging of the medias. Uh, you also get a postcard right here of the Normandy 2, which is the the Alliance version, not the Cerebus version. Same thing, different color scheme. Kind of like the color scheme for the Cerebus one first. I don't know, that's just me. You get an art book, the art of Mass Effect 3, which I'd be very uh, hesitant to look fully through because there might be spoilers in it, so... I won't exactly open it fully, but it's the art of uh, Mass Effect is actually very beautiful. So you get it for well, well, for free you actually pay for it, but you know what I'm saying. And you also get a patch here, the N7 patch to put on your uh, it's Velcro, so you can put on anything that you can Velcro on, and you can wear it out with pride and show people how much of a Mass Effect 3 fan you are. And that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm out of here. Uh, Hopefully you guys are enjoying the game as much as I am. If you've already gotten it, the game is kind of cool. Haven't got to the ending, so I don't, I don't know what if the ending is good or bad or it makes me want to like sell the game. But is the ending that important? If the if the ride up to the ending is awesome, I don't know. I guess that's for people to decide. All right, people, I will check you out next video. Later.